fit as much of the transfer in as I can. Um, and remember that it's gonna be a little bit more subtle once it's on top of these bright colors. So um, I generally just start off by visualizing um, exactly where I should start. And I do think I want it to be Press it down, it'll start to kind of um, stick on its own, and then I will grab my applicator and get um, transferring. surface is uneven it has the wood behind the canvas here and not here you kind of just have to really take your time here take your hand press it down and then it'll begin to release but you need to kind of take your time around here because it can easily get crinkled you can see how the paper is um, the transfer is really pulling up. So just take your time and with the help of your hand and the applicator. Okay, you can see on the edges, it needs to be kind of um, pressed down. So what I generally do is just take my finger gently. And then I always take my finger over the whole transfer just to make sure, and it's a light pressure, but I just wanna make sure it's um, you know, all the way down and that no edges are going to pop up. Since the transfer is a lot lighter than the aged paper here, um, I'm going to use a little bit of the DIY um, Dark and Decrepit Liquid Patina here. And I'm just going to dry brush some on. I'm using a very small brush. I just kind of dunked it in. I'm gonna wipe a lot of it off. And then I'm gonna use this as a nonstick craft mat. I'm gonna kind of offload some of it. And I'm gonna use this um, to keep dunking my brush. So I'm just gonna brush the very edges. Again, it's a very, very dry brush. I don't really want to color the yellow and blue. I just want to get the transfer looking a little bit more aged. So I've got my crystal clear chandelier liquid patina here and um, that is kind of your um, rescue. If you feel like you put too much dark and decrepit on, you can just use the liquid patina, the crystal clear and um, kind of reactivates it and what's neat is that it stays on the transfer um, and you can kind of wash it out on the rest of the piece. Okay so I'm ready to go. That looks amazing. Um, it just brought a little bit of balance to these two um, pieces, these two elements. Um, so I'm ready to start decoupaging this on. I am using the liquid patina again from Debbie's Design Diary. This is a crystal clear chandelier. Um, and I've got my nonstick craft mat next to me. I'm putting the actual words, the old man sunshine, little boy blue bird, um, underneath the bird. I really felt like if I had it over here, it's just too much. I felt like it was too many graphics and so this gives it a little bit more balance. So I'm going to decoupage these on and um, then I'll start drawing in the vines. Once you have the liquid patina down, you're just going to take a wet finger and work from the inside out just in case you have any little bubbles and that will help to press the bubbles out. And then I always make sure that my edges are stuck down. And I'm just gonna smooth out the excess liquid patina and that will dry clear and start on the part. Put a very generous amount of liquid patina on here, very thick because it's gonna dry fast. So you want it to be as thick as you can. 
and I'll need just a little bit of a base down here. So you see I'm working pretty quick. I might need to stick a little bit actually stuck. And I'm gonna go each way, each direction with the liquid patina. This, I want to be stuck, stuck down. My finger's wet. Just wanted to get that edge. Again, I wanna work from the middle out. Just help to press any little bubbles. actually going to go over the entire piece. So this will have a lot of sealer on it because it already has two coats of big top. But what that's going to do is it's going to make a surface easy, um, you know, ready and prepared for my vine charcoal to draw on the lines for the vines. I'm going to let this liquid patina dry and then come back and finish this up. So in our inspiration picture, um, the vines and um, the leaves and all of the graphics are outlined in vine charcoal. So I'm going to use my vine charcoal piece to start drawing in some lines. in the leaves with this um, fresh lime that we used underneath our turquoise color um, to bring that all together and this is gonna be done. I'm using a tiny brush and I'm just gonna fill in the leaves. Now don't worry if you um, brush some of your vine charcoal off you can just wait for this paint to dry and you can go over it again. So no big deal. Thank you. 